Now I'm going to walk through how to add a new page and we're going to look at the About Us page. So if I go back over to the site, here's the About Us page. I've got, this is a text area with a picture in it and then a call to action section and then three pictures. So, um, oh, and this part up here, it's the background picture and about Barrage Farm, that's right here. So I made it yellow and right here is where I've got that background chunk. See? Okay, we could take that out and put in something new. So that's kind of the um, top part, right below the navigation bar. Then we've got this text area with the chicken and our story. The story is a heading two size, so this paragraph. And then I'll do sidebar in a different video, but basically um, you can control every single thing that you show over here in the sidebar. It's kind of fun. Um, I've got the call to action bar down here, see, with a color and a link that goes to the contact page. And then here's the three chicken pictures. Here's the chicken logo, okay? So now what I want to do is show you how to create a new page. And you can just do one just to play with if you want to start from scratch. Um, oh, hey, sometimes what I do when I'm working on a site I will open up two separate dashboard tabs if I want to make sure I'm doing things the same, right? So I could go to the About Us page so I remember what it looks like, uh, you know, from the editing mode. So I got this blue section and this blue section and some green, right? So if I'm going to make a new page, I'm going to use Page Builder. I'm just going to call it New Page. Yeah, real creative. And, okay, so over here I've got this blue section and a green. So right here is where I can put in a background image. Uh, this one in, Crystal Mountain. And save that. Okay, and then I've got a text module in here that's full width. So I'm going to insert a column. Actually, I don't even think we... Yeah, we've got to insert the full width column and then tell it that it's going to be a text chunk. And then I'm just going to say new page name. And let's see, what was it over here? I think it's an H201. Let's say heading 1. I'm going to do that, and I'll just leave it blue, uh, black, excuse me. You could center, let me try that out, save that. Okay, now let's go back over to this page. Okay, so now we're going to add in another section. There's three different types of sections you can add. We're just going to stick with three right now. So I'm going to add a section, okay? I'm going over to the About page and saying, hmm, okay, it's a two-thirds, one-third, it doesn't really matter, what do you want? So we're going to insert uh, full width, insert a module, I'm going to call it text, and let's just say I'm going to put in a picture. be a medium size, but I can do full size if I want. Okay, actually I'm trying it too full. I'm going to not have it clickable. I'm going to have it justified less. Insert to the page. Okay. Oh, that's weird. I didn't know that was on it. I'll try that again. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not sure what that 
Oh my gosh, my hair's on fire. Sorry. Um, let's put, you know what? I love this cocktail picture. It's big one. Look at it's um, 640 by 640. So I'm going to show you how to change that on the page again. So insert that. Yum. Um, I'm going to reduce it now. Okay, so now I've got picture. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Um, here, so I'm going to type some text and let's see. Let me find the chunk of text to put in there for us. So I guess I could take the farming poem. pushing down the picture, so I'm just going to take that out, and I'm going to put the picture in again, okay, like that. It's going to be left, I don't need it to be clickable, so I'll let it be full size, and I'm going to just change the size here, okay, so now I'm going to save that, the full width text, I'm going to publish this page now. And sometimes the page, I'm not sure if I set it up for the pages to automatically go in there. Okay, so up here is the navigation bar. Um, over here, this is different. This is not just editing the page, but this is where we change. Um, these are different themes that we could use. We're using this one, Divi. So over here we go to menus and... I just created this page here called New Page, so I'm going to click that, I'm going to add it to the menu, see, and there it is, and I've got this little four-way arrow, I'm going to drag it up, I can also make it a sub-page, I'll show you what that looks like, here, automatically add new level pages to the menu, so we're going to save the menu, go back to the site, refresh it and see how now home has a little arrow there's our new page that we just made okay so new page name is centered and we've got this full width column with a picture and some text so we've just made a new page uh, if you insert a module here I think it's gonna be full width let's just see See, it's going to be full width. So if you want to add another section but um, change the column arrangement, this is how you do that. Um, you can do text, picture, video. I think those are the basic things that we want to do. Just to show you one of the things you can do here, this little icon says, you know, duplicate that. I'm going to drag that down here. So now I can duplicate this and drag it over here. Now obviously you're not going to duplicate your content, but sometimes if you want to see what the layout's going to look like, it's kind of a handy way to do it. Uh, okay, so this is still new page. I'm going to refresh new page and see what it looks like. Okay, <laughs> I know that looks crazy, but Anyway, so I've got this picture with text, and then I also created that in two columns. I hope that makes sense. So we've covered menu and creating a new page. And um, I'll just make sure you update. Let me know if this makes sense.